Okay, as you can see, it's Cardiff Castle. Um, a castle has been a few hundred years. We're outside the Goat Major in Cardiff. Here it is. We're going in for another real ale on the real ale guide. Come on through. Thank you very much. Two months later, you'll be okay. Thank you very much. Here's my business card. The Royal Spring. <laughs> this beer is from Caffili, is it? It is from Caffili Way, yes, but a new brewery, I think. I'm not hearing much of them, but it's the second beer we've had this week. The first one was 2011. Oh, there we go. There we go. Thank you. 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 The beer looks very, very fresh. Good head on it. Good finger head. Let's give it a taste. 4.1% in the volume. Wow. That is very, very fruity. <laughs> it's one of the fruitiest beers I've ever tasted. But very smooth at the same time. Um, it's a robust point. There's not many. There's not much carbonation in the beer. It's quite still. But it's got a good quality to the head. If you can see inside the head there, there's a lot of. It's a good thick consistency for the beer. Fine. St. Davis Day special. There's something that makes me not. I don't think I could session this beer. There's something in it that, that makes me want to. You know, honestly, try something else. I don't know what it is exactly. I think this is quite a sharp beer. I think it's the sharpness. So it's, uh, it's quite harsh. Um, if I was to rate this. I'm going to get some taste first and then I'll rate it. It's very fruity. It's hoppy. But it's bitter, but in the wrong It's not bitter in a nice bitter way. It's bitter. It only makes you want to sip it. It doesn't make you want to really take this beer back. It's not a, a lawnmower beer at all. So I think on that basis, I'm going to rate this now. And I'm going to give it, unfortunately, I'm going to give it a four. It's a four out of ten on the real out guys. But um, we're just going to pan around this lovely old pub. And I'll have four. 
That's very good. Yes, I have a They've got a few cat scales on every bit, so perhaps we can come in in a few weeks' time and try another one, but as I say, four for the beer rocks obsession, unfortunately. But thanks for watching the Real Ale Guide, and cheers. Again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Join by Ian. I'm very sorry. And we'd like to invite you to bring us back, please, to review on the channel. I love a beer on cask. Nothing quite like it, is it, Adrian? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 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 Just waiting for it to set up. Yeah, I like the, I like the branding on the uh, on the pump there. The rest of the beers, brain printer, brain PSA. So what aromas do you get? They do not need uh, on the beer. Coffee beans, very sort of lightly roasted, um, a bit chocolate, but it's not, it's not a massive bit. It's very creamy. Yeah, I it's also quite refreshing as well. You know, because you don't want it too creamy. I like what you said in the evening feel you could really sing with you at the time of the rugby on the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, even if you have one, lunchtime, you, you can drive, you know, it's a nice, it's a nice easy drink. And it's got a lot of flavour in it, straight, which is, I think, for a brewer, is a, is a holy grail. You know, you want a, a beer to, to, to taste well. And in our country, which, you know, in America they brew in beers as strong as they can get them. Yeah. I know they are up in Scotland, they brew that, but, you know, the majority of our beers are 3, 8, up to 4, 5, 5%. Five yeah. And, you know, let's pack a bit of flavour into beers this strength. And then, you know, we'll have the, the, the strong beers for sort of later on in the evening. Just to finish the start yeah, off, yeah, yeah, exactly. A book at bedtime. Book at bedtime. Good way to try the beer. It's also a, yeah. almost like a plum like fruitiness here as well. Very slight, very, you know, just a hint. And it's also got a dryness at the finish as well. It is that dryness, absolutely. And that fruit plum maybe you were saying is. Sort of dark plum, yeah. sort of slightly ripe, and sitting in the fruit bowl in the sun for a while. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, what I'm saying about all these different flavours, they're all sort of, it's, all, it's almost like a, a, an orchestra with all the instruments playing in use. You know, we're not saying, oh, this is just a plum beer, or this is just a beer with orange on it, or something. It's all different, it's all the different sort of parts of the orchestra working together symphonically, and that's happening in the glass. The yeah. glass of beer is, is like an orchestra. It's great. I, I think if you were to drink a beer which has just got um, a very bland flavour, you're drinking all night. I, I, I find I get very bored of it, but like Adrian was saying, you're having to think about your taste, what you're tasting. You really have to. You can probably sit down. With, you're probably taking two pints of this to really get to grips with. Oh yeah. With what's in there? It's a, it's a beer to study. It's 
a bit to contemplate. You know, it's the sort of beer I'd sit down in a corner in a pub like this, the City Arms, on an afternoon. I've got a book, and I would actually just sit there, and contemplate it, think about it, have another one, think about it, and have another one, <laughs> <laughs> and another one. <laughs> okay. Um, I always give a, a ten rating on the real ale guys. Um, if I could ask you what rating you would give this beer, and then, and then I'll give a rating on the on what I think. But Adrian, what, what would you give that beer out of ten? Brains down. Well, um, I judge beer quite often, and I'm always quite a harsh judge. Not because. Um, there's nothing wrong with the beer, but I would give it eight and a half out of ten uh, because I think um, there's nothing wrong with it. There's, you know, I just think no beer is ten out of ten. I've given a few. I've given a few my time. I'm not going to name them now, but um, my turn to rate it, I suppose. What I like about this beer is it's got fantastic lacing on the glass. Mm. Um, it's 3.5% ABV. You could sit back, enjoy this. You could really have a few and still be on your feet. It's very tasteful. It's chocolate, coffee. Coffee's um, coming through now, so I'm giving it nine now. <laughs> the aromas are there. On that basis, the way it's sitting in my stomach, and I could probably have a good meal with this as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go slightly below a jumper. I'm gonna give it an eight. An eight out of ten. But uh, thanks, for, thanks for watching the Real Ale Guide. Thanks for Agent for joining me. We've been on the brewery tour with Brains. We're off to another pub, so we might be featured on the next uh, in the next pub. But cheers for now. Thank you. Cheers.